Hi, I'm Dan, and you're watching an instructional screencast presented by GearWire.com. And we're uh, going to be taking a look at Drum Corps. And Drum Corps is a few different things. It's a rewire device, a loop library, as well as a loop librarian, and or like a database. And it's also an instrument on a few different levels. So let's check it out. We'll be using Cakewalk Sonar 6 Producer Edition. And so here we have our synth rack view. Um, and it's under rewire devices. You install it and it just shows up there. It's very nice. And so here's our uh, property page. And what we're gonna be doing is, uh, it's gonna automatically open a MIDI source track and a, the first synth uh, audio output, as well as the property page. Um, now I actually, what I'm gonna do is uncheck this for now so that I can show you how Drumcore actually instantiates when you open a file that already has uh, drum core in it. So I'm going to press OK, and we have our MIDI files. Now when you open up your project, uh, drum core may or may not, depending on your host, need to be started up. In Sonar, all we need to do is double click the track, and as you can see, the splash screen comes up, and we see uh, the GUI of drum core. Now, there's a lot of different things you can do with drum core. We're just going to scratch the surface in this first video. Um, as you hear, uh, we're already hearing uh, a loop here. It's a basic beat, basic rock. And uh, we're at 90 uh, tempo-wise. And what I'd like to do, actually, is change our host tempo to 120. And as you can hear, drum core keeps playing. And also change our tempo in here to 120. Okay. And um, just taking a look at drum core, uh, we see some different information. I'm going to stop the loop. Um, we see it's 120 basic rock is the uh, file that it's playing back. Uh, if we were to change the tempo, of course it would change. And over here it says this is supposed to be uh, played back at 80, um, but we're playing it back at a tempo of 59 BPM. Um, so it's doing a stretch, and it's doing a pretty good job of it compared to a lot of stretching algorithms that you'll come across these days. So back to this one, and, and as you can see, it's playing a different audio file uh, to match the tempo. So a few of the quick things to play with before we uh, start delving in to uh, a lot of the different sounds that drum core can provide. There's different ways to organize your beats. Like I said, this is a loop librarian or database. So right here, you know, I'm gonna turn down the volume. We're hearing an alternative beat. We wanna hear blues, same thing. And we're all still at 120. Country, kind of a double time thing. Dance hall. So this is one of the non-acoustic beats. Uh, there's a few different ones. Uh, Latin is another one. Well, actually, it's acoustic, but it's it's non-kit uh, hip hop stuff. So there's a lot of different styles, and that's just one way to go around uh, looking at our um, loops. Uh, we can also look at them by drummer. Say, for example, you're a big fan of Matt Storm. You can just start clicking on beats that Matt played himself. And one thing to notice, uh, if you're going to be purchasing drum core, there's a few different options. You can purchase the full drum core, which comes with all of these loops, except I only have three here. These are different player packs. There's DX at the end. Uh, that's just the way that you know it's a player's pack. Everything else comes with uh, drum core. You can also buy a light version of drum core that doesn't come with any loops. You can add your own loops, or you could also um, bring in the user packs. And if you just want to look at the user packs, you have... You can do that. It's not that hard. So, and basically what that does is just bring up all the different user packs. And we're actually looking at that in MIDI format. So one other thing I wanted to uh, take a look at in our uh, first video is the Gabrielize function because it's kind of an interesting function. Uh, and you can do this with audio or MIDI. And this one we're going to be checking out on audio. So I'm going to hit that. And as you can see, it's just doing some different stuff. It's sort of a randomized function. Some of them are going to be cool. Some of them are not. 
But the great thing is, one click and you got something different. So that's the first video, taking a look at the Drum Core uh, Rewire device. And thanks for checking it out.